Hello guys, and well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Um, today we're going to be talking about this GH5 cage from a company called Small Rig. Um, but before we do that, uh, we have got this lovely beverage. It's homemade, we've literally just made it. Pumpkin spice to add into coffees. So yeah, we've got these coffees here and... Uh, lovely pumpkin spice latte. I was surprised actually how well we did. It it looks a bit like gravy, um, you know. Doesn't look the most appetising. No, and um, not very syrupy like in terms of its texture, but mwah, delicious. But anyway, let's put that out of the way. We always think it's best to start with a tasty beverage. You gotta start with a tasty beverage when you're having a good old chat. But yeah. So, um, the small rig cage with the top handle, what do you think, Ant? Well, I've always never been really bothered about cages. I've always been like, oh god, what's the point, all these bollocks and that, which is really stupid because actually I really like the cage a lot. And even though at the moment we've only got it as its basic form, it's actually been very useful. And we haven't even added any, like, bleh, bleh, not even added any extra bits yet. Yeah, I mean the main purpose that it's serving at the moment is just acting as like a a shell for the camera so it adds extra protection. It uh when we have the quick release handle attached, it adds as a good way of carrying it around a bit more security than just holding onto the actual grip like that. Yeah, I find it and useful when filming with it, so I quite like, you know, being able to hold it and other ways than that, it got on that other yeah. extra flexibility. It's quite nice on the um, on a tripod as well, so you can just twizzle it like that. Just I don't know, just really nice. Yeah, it's it just adds a bit more um, kind of you can you can handle it a lot easier. It's not so delicate because one of the issues that we find with a camera like the GH5 or any kind of mirrorless or DSLR type camera is that they're using them for video they're quite small and delicate and you don't want to kind of break it they're, they're just a bit tiny so um, like in comparison to using like a FS7 or something like that with like a top handle built in and more of like a, a big bulky thing I think it's easier to handle so when you go down to the, like, I absolutely love the size of the GH5 in that you can take it anywhere, you can mm -hmm. do whatever you want with it and it, it doesn't, you don't have to carry a massive shoulder kind of camera around with you, you don't have to like have a bigger tripod or anything, you can use small things and, and get in places where you wouldn't normally be able to, but, um, but it is a bit too delicate, so like adding this kind of cage it adds a bit more weight to it it makes it the right kind of weight i think for 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 filming with what yeah, do you think yeah i mean it it's a lot easier to handle um i like the fact that you still get to the battery very easily and also um because it's you've got this extra kind of lift here when we put it on the uh, manfrotto tripod we have we can actually tighten it because um, it doesn't catch the little thing you tighten with. It doesn't catch the bottom of the camera because it's got all this yeah. space to wind it. It is so still a still a ratcheting good. knob like this one is as well, in that you can pull it out and turn it around to the right, uh, to wherever you want it. So you can do like one half turn and then pull it out and flip it back and then do another half turn without having to go all the way around if you're blocked by a screw there or something. Um, so that's, but it's you. It's better to just spin it round and it's uh, easier, isn't it? And that's the same as what you get on the handle as well. So if you attach it on like this, and it's, and then when you end up 
screwing that, you don't want that there, you want it kind of a bit further out the way, you can lift it round and get it out the way so it doesn't cause you any issues, which is a nice touch in a relatively well-priced cage mm, setup, I think. Nice metal as well, solid, good, good. Seems rigid, doesn't it? It doesn't, yeah. doesn't seem flimsy or anything like that. And the great, the other great thing is that it doesn't cover any of the bits that you need to get into. You've got the back, uh, the uh, SD card door there. It doesn't cover up that. You, you've got access to the battery door as well. Everything's readily accessible there, and it, it's, it's the right measure of protected as like an exoskeleton, but you can still get to everything that you need to get to. Got a couple of hot shoes, or what you call them, hot cold shoes, shoes. And cold shoes. Yeah, so you can, because you can't really put uh, the the hot shoe there. You can't really put anything on like a road video mic or anything like that. You can't really put that on there anymore when you've got the handle set up on because the, the handle's in the way. So you can relocate that to there or put it on top. There's another cold shoe on the top. Um, Another great thing is that you we we love the Peak Design straps, and you can still get your Peak Design straps put on there. At the moment, we've got one on each side, just through one of the screw holes. Um, but you can also there's another uh, there's another hole on the side there, so that's something else you can mount both straps and hang it like that off your shoulder if you want to, or use that to put a uh, what would you call one of those a little the strap, thing, strap it? Yeah. thing for your your hand there? There's just lots of ways. It's I think that's the that's the most attractive thing about cages really. There's there's lots that you can do with it. Mm. Afterwards, there's more that you can do. Like in the future, we should probably talk about in the future what we want to yep, that's expand what I was thinking into. Would be our next point is like it's all well and good having a cage, but one of the main reasons you want a cage is because of all the added action, uh, added <laughs> <laughs> all the added extras you can add on to it. That sounds like that's probably my word of the day. <laughs> add. So yeah, you can add a ruddy load of things on it. So what would you add on to it, Ant? Well, I'd quite like a monitor. I mean, the monitor's quite nice, obviously, on the GH5, but you want a decent yeah. big one, don't you? Yeah, so what, where would you locate it? Because I, I, I'm thinking that, that a good place would be off the side there, on like a monitor arm. Yeah, right angle and, then and then up there, maybe. A, maybe, or put it on this side and then have a road mic there, or get a uh, H6, is it? Was, am I saying that right? Yeah, H6, zoom, H6. Zoom, H, uh, zoom H6 recorder on the side. Have your monitor on the other side, yeah. and then you still be able to keep the handle there. Yeah, it's quite nice to keep the handle free because that is where you're going to be carrying it from the most. Especially if you've got monitor arms and stuff attached to the side, you're not going to be able to grab it there anymore. Mm. So just a handle there with maybe a um, a zoom on the side. We've thought about adding a zoom onto the side to do audio recording when. Um, when we're filming in slow motion as well, because there's yeah, you can't, can't record can't record sound sound in slow motion, obviously. So, um, so that's another great thing that you can add that onto. It turns it it just opens up your chances of of just getting loads more out of the camera and it, it, me it feeling a lot more like a video camera to me. I mm. think yeah, yeah, that's probably my favourite thing in time uh, when we expand all those things and when we use it on jobs we're going to be um we're going to be updating and sharing more about our experience using it and uh, more about what we've experienced with it um so it's going to be like a, a thing that we keep on adding to this kind of like review of it um and uh we we're, we're going to be filming a, a music based project soon that we're that we're going to use it on which I think will be it'll be really handy there to just make it so much easier to to deal with and to to work with as a camera um, so we're excited for all those things to to use it on and we'll keep you updated then and if yeah. there's anything that you want to know about 
the uh, cage or about the camera, um, then just let us know and we'll try and answer it in a new video. Yeah, so this has been the small rig first kind of first impressions, impressions of the GH5 review. cage. Cage. Um, hope you liked it. And NATO handle. I think this bit's called a NATO handle because uh, it's a separate bit that you bit. screw on. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, let us know what you think and uh, thanks for watching. Are they gone? Um, there's no real way of telling. Clear it up. You don't have control <laughs> of me. By the way, that pumpkin spice tastes disgusting.